Support ProPlay Games on Patreon. Solid. What's up, everybody? Welcome to round two. I'm joined by my excellent co-host, Danny. Um, we have Set 19 Gohan versus Gamma 1 and 2. Uh, very thematic with the superhero movie. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> right. So um, uh, before we get in, uh, we, we talked a lot about Gohan. What are your thoughts about that deck? I think it's super aggressive. It's doing a lot with very little, reminiscent of the old Green Broly drawing five cards. Yeah. And But this is on both turns. Uh, do it multiple times. It's yeah. really strong. Excellent. Uh, and, of course, we talk about Gamma a lot, too. So the thing about Gamma is it can struggle to aggro turns one and two. Yep. Once Gamma charges that third energy, it's like the real game begins, right? Exactly. Um, so we're going to see if uh, we, Brandon can... Uh, if he can basically kill him before it becomes a problem, you know? Oh, New York mirror match. Oh, New York mirror match. Nice. Yeah. Shout out to the city. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so we see this Vegeta Savior of the Future. When it attacks, you can take a life, and it gains double strike. So. San esque Yeah, San esque yep. And it looks like the Gohan uh, player won the die roll. This is going to be huge. That is for... absolutely huge. You're right. He's going to be able to do a ton of pressure turn two while Gamma yep. only has one energy. And again, turn three, turn two, and turn three, it really pops off. Absolutely, yep. And we do see we see a Sensu Bean in hand, which is a card. All right, we're gonna see just the immediate awaken. Uh, you're going to uh, play the Z battle card. Uh, your leader is when you control a two cost Z battle card, you can awaken. Yep, untap two, go down to five. <laughs> Here you go. We're on a game state advanced. <laughs> Uh, attacking already with going in already at four turn two I'm at four life all right <laughs> uh, when the Vegeta attacks of course you warp a card and then combo with the card from your drop putting that Goku and Vegeta back in this deck is super efficient at yeah. using Z energy and all those Z energy yeah. cards battle cards or battle cards that go into Z energy have yeah. effects that come out exactly yep so he bears destroys the why doesn't he bears destroy... he, he could have hit the Vegeta there right doesn't have barrier or does it have barrier? Um, anyway, so swinging with the Vegeta, and uh, you warp a card from your hand to combo with a card from your drop. It does not have barrier. Okay. So he could have targeted it. Yeah, he could have targeted that. But it wouldn't have it wouldn't have gotten out of the twenty k. Yeah. Exactly. So he probably just didn't well, want to deal with it. It would it got him to twenty. It, it was 20k. He could have comboed one more 5k, right? Yeah. All right. So combo with the Gohan. Tap one. Play the Gohan. Attack with the Gohan. And then we'll see, you know. <laughs> Instant attack. Instant attack. Just yeah. not even wasting any we time. We don't expect him to activate main here. We do. Oh, he do? We do. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I don't. It feels like a weird use of an energy because more than likely, Gamma is like probably just going to attack and pass, you know. It's, yeah. Um, granted, at the same time, you know, what's the point of keeping it on board? I I guess it, it hmm. plays unison. What Gam Gamma's turn two has really changed recently. What yeah. you, what is a normal plays? Well, yeah, it definitely depends on the matchup, right? It yeah. used to be slam unison no matter what, right? Yep. And then you wouldn't even awaken because it's really hard to kill the unison. Uh now it's like you probably just pass. You can't like really afford to get black smoked that early. Yep. Uh like I say, yeah, just pass. I mean it looks like he doesn't have a unison anyway, but but the Beer Destroy is a yeah. great card that a lot of blue decks are playing now. Hits a ton of ton of Z battle cards. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, he's playing Goku and Pycon Dead Heat. Really interesting card. So it costs four, right? Obviously, you can't go to four. Yeah. But what you can do is you can uh, you can uh, uh, tap two and discard two extra cards in order to play it for two. Uh, so if you have, like, you know, Gohan, uh, his activate main, he draws three, right? So yep. uh, if you have, like, some extra cards that are just dead in your hand, like maybe a D-Magic or a Sensu Bean, you can just get rid of it. Yeah, activate main and battle. Activate main Very and battle, yeah. Yeah, see, he's going to swing, and we're just going to see the floodgate here. The Gamma player yeah. is making the right play, though, I think. He's yeah. buying himself time, and that's really all he needs. Exactly. You know, this Gohan can do some scary things with three energy. And here we have now, like I said, we, we charged a three. And it looks like he's going to go for surmounting because he doesn't have a unison, which is reasonable. Surmounting, just great. One of the one of the best cards ever released in the entire game, I would honestly say. It's it's a small thing, 
but that small thing fixes so many game states. What do you yeah. think? So many decks too. Yeah. And it's really it really relevant for a lot of leaders that wake in a six or five. Yes. Yep. And it puts you right at that number you want to be. Sometimes five for the blocker in a gate or five just go straight to four. Yep. These super combos are active. Yep. It's having three for the the Goku. Miraculous comeback. Miraculous comeback. Is that Very the new unexpected. Art? That is the Nats promo art. Nats promo art. Sweet, sweet. Man, so twenty K barrier. Also triple strike. Also <laughs> deflect. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, battle cards cannot attack your opponent's leader, or yep. your leader, rather. And it's cool that Gohan can defend this by comboing a card and then just getting uh, one of its energy back. Yeah, I I really do, actually. He really didn't mind passing last turn with three energy. Yeah, so it's because he had that we card. He had this card. I, I was going to say that. That probably felt really bad. Gohan really wants to do a ton of plays, untap when with the leader effect. Yeah. But this is totally fine. Yep. All right. But it looks like both of them combo with Gohan. Gamma's going to play a Gohan and just is he just going to snap, activate, man. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Again, now now this, what's really cool is uh, the Miraculous can't comeback can't actually attack unless he bottom decks a two cost or less, you know? Yep. All right. Very strong. There are good, decent targets. Maybe the pan. The pan uh, would be a good target. Yep. <laughs> he said, I'm not. I'm, just, I'm putting the best. That's the best card in your deck. It's going on the SDR, bottom. SDR, baby yep. hatch to the bottom. <laughs> baby hatch to the bottom. Activating 14, 15. Look at the top five. Add a red ribbon army of four or less or a two cost unison. Uh, actually, no, it's not a two cost unison. It's specifically the 17 and 18. Yep. And we're going to go for it. Looks like he still wants to get this miraculous yep. comeback off the board. And we're just going to super combo. So 25. So. And what, I mean. What, what are your thoughts on like trying to put that much pressure on this uh, Goku here. He can combo out right away and yeah. then draw three. So he's like really not losing anything. No, I I agree there. Um, I think that's probably exactly what we're going to see. You're just going to refresh your hand basically uh, or not. Okay. Yeah, this is the last attack for the turn. Why would, you, you don't want to just draw two there? Okay, he's going to Z charge getting rid of the... I probably would have gotten rid of the critical, right? Yeah. Okay. Crit's real scary. Yep. Gamma, pick up three, put down three. Yeah, right. You activate battle, refresh your hand, and then get rid of the critical one there. A little, little bit of a, maybe a flub there, but we'll see. Yeah, starting his hand, his turn yeah. with the four cards in would have been yeah, better. real strong. So he's under the floodgate here. Yep. So he has this, to. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he found a go. one drop. Uh, so look at the top five. Um, it adds. I want to say like a Saiyan. Yes. Yeah. Uh, specifically, S blue Saiyan. A blue Saiyan. Possibly okay. SH. Yeah. Yeah. It looks top seven. Add up to one blue battle card. SH in character name four or less. Okay. Nice. And then shuffle them. All right, and he just adds another copy, which means if he can um, generate another attacker, you know, he can. It's pretty good. All right, so the line of play here. <laughs> There's no easy. Like, I'm going to double floodgate you. Okay. <laughs> Again, keeping him, you know, he can now he can activate main draw a card. It's it, he really can't afford to attack through this floodgate. It's 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 his whole hand basically. Yeah, it's interesting. He's burning the floodgates right away if he had other negates in hand. But yeah. I, I guess I think the main point is don't let him enter combat. Do right? not let him enter combat. That's when some scary tricks happen. Um, he has the Goku and Vegeta in his Z energy, which means he can do quite a few things. You want to, you know, you just slam an area annihilator and pass here. It, you are using your energy. Uh, it has barriers, so it's relatively safe. Yeah, it looks like he activated a uh, main on leader to draw up to three here. Yeah. Looking at his options, not many, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just leaving it up for defense. He does have the Goku Black in hand, which is a great card on defense. Um, it can just snipe this Android 18 critical, especially if um, Mashud decides to put like a super combo into it. Charging the counterplay and playing Inst cell. Instant, instant cell. cell. <laughs> this guy's playing a uh, set 17 gamma instant cell. 
No uh, hesitation. I kind of like that. Yeah, I agree. Thirty k dual attack. It's too hard. It's it's too yeah, much it's, to. It's just, this is much better than that that swing last turn we yeah. saw the twenty five the super combo twenty five k. Yeah, I like this a lot more. It's way too hard to protect here. Yeah. You know, three cards in hand probably not gonna work he, out for he you. He will. He might co a combo out, draw three again. Yeah, but it's gonna. Oh, he's he got the have... secret rare in hand. Ooh. That's a. I mean. Beyond the ultimate. Yeah. That's a card. He did. He drew. The, he also drew the token negate. So. But that would drop him the three life. Yep. Right? Activating the twins. Uh, it's not the twins. The Koku and the Vegeta. Immortal uh, rivalry. Yep. Immortal rivalry. Uh, because you have uh, a card in your combo area, you activate its effect. Discard one. Combo with oh, up, to up to two. Up to two. Yep. yep. And then if you have th is it, if you have three, you get to play it yep, and draw a card. Yep, play and draw a card. Yep. I enjoy D Magic. Well, those are the, the perfect two cards he could have drawn in this situation. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. Yeah. He actually doesn't even need to take the life anymore if he chooses. Yeah. He's got to throw one of those in Z Energy. Gain energy as well. Yeah. On tap one. That's efficiency. Yep. Yeah. Problem is, right? I guess you 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 do take the life, right? Because you want to keep the D Magic, and you have to bottom deck your card. You cannot bottom deck your secret rare. Yep. And he decided that he's okay with the D Uh, yeah. Looks like yeah, it takes the life. I think you take the life before bottom decking, right? Because cell is an auto counters resolve, so you would take the life and then have the option. Yeah, to, you have to activate. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So a little bit quick that he. I mean, he nabbed a super combo off of it. Again, he can't really play that super combo because he'd have to bottom deck his secret rare. So you know, it's a little tough. Absolutely. Here we see the miraculous comeback yep. dropping down. There's a crit. Yeah. Yeah, he just he has to keep that that secret rare, man. He has to. Yeah, so he can't actually combo with this Go uh, Goku Vegeta because when it leaves the battle it, area, it leaves, leaves forever, the yep. And ends up taking a crit, getting his, his multicolored dual attacker. Gamma picking up three, drawing one and putting it's put up to three. Definitely <laughs> gonna he's probably gonna put three down. Absolutely. But it's up to three. It's really that's really good in like late, late, late grindy games. Yep. So we see Brandon drew the Black Kai super. Yep. Uh, not cool. Not super combo. Pseudo super combo. Pseudo super combo. Zero ten k is and's always less than five. Really Absolutely. Strong. Yeah. All, it always is. Yeah. He's, he's really thinking about this SCR here. Yeah, he's in a tough spot. I mean, this would bounce all those uh, yeah. cards of Gamma's hand, and that'd be a lot of defense. Yep. You know, if Gamma's gonna do one thing, it's gonna floodgate. I mean, jeez, yeah. instant he's, floodgate. He's gonna have to. We might see like a sell from the Z just to just to. Yeah, just yeah, to get some of this board. power off the board. Jeez. Yep. <laughs> He's Here getting three cards. Like you said yesterday, right? It's you never get four. <laughs> <laughs> you nearly you never get four. The surmounting should be gone. Surmounting does leave. Yep, because it's a Z card, it's removed from the game. So we see, we definitely see a weakness of the the Gohan leader yeah. here. Not you're playing with a small hand. Un, you don't know a cer like certainty what's in your hand. You're drawing random cards every yeah. turn. One, one big card he really probably wanted to see is Power Claim to get rid of that cell. Yes, correct. You got to play with what you're, you're given. Yeah. And here's a – he's playing – he has SCR in hand, but now he, is he going to combo it off so he can draw a fresh he, three? Exactly. He can. That's yep. going to be hard to defend. Yep. So he char yep, charged Unison and then, uh, you know, rest two to play Unison. You know, twins coming out, bottom decking uh, something equal or greater than, and it just gets removed forever, and then those yeah. cards go to the drop area. That was the fairest uh, Z cell I've ever seen. It just wiped the board. It didn't yeah. <laughs> the dual tech crit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we go, playing 17, ramp one. Look at the top five. We're going to throw an android in there. And then he's going to choose to bottom deck his unison. And look, that's so smart. You get a super combo that hand. you could just add it back to hand next turn. Super strong. Yeah, and Gohan's at two life. I mean, it's yeah. This this, is this cell rough. is only a single strike, but yep. Auto thirty five k single. That's a damage. <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, I think 
maybe he should have just slammed the SCR last turn. He I think so, yeah. If he played it, he could have untapped his energy and still yeah. fell at the end of the turn and yeah. force it to be removed, it be removed by the Twins 17-18 yep. right away. It, it gets a, He has to like almost bottom deck his SCR here, right? Because yeah. it gets a card out of his hand as, as like, as... Is much as that bottom deck is SCR? Yeah, I, th I think he has to bottom deck the SCR. <laughs> like, it doesn't win you the game, you know. Mm. I think I, w I wonder if he played Desperate Measures, uh, new tech a lot of blue yep. decks are playing yep, to answer the floodgates. Uh, yep. And he probably would have helped him a lot this game. Yeah. I think maybe he could have taken it slower this game. Uh, he didn't have to awaken yeah. right on turn two. Yeah. Uh, yeah he's he did put much pressure. It yeah, up. he scooped. Doesn't look like he's gonna. Yeah, just yep. the amount of aggression the gamma can, uh, you know, put in this turn is gonna be quite a lot. So let's move on to sideboard. What do you think uh, the Gohan player could bring in that would help in this matchup? An answer to a floodgate. It yeah. could be <laughs> maybe decisive strike. Maybe uh, desperate measures. Great choice. It has to be cheap, and it has to get it. It has to just get it out of the way. So he can attack. Yeah, maybe Koit's guy. Yeah, Koit was Koit's a super solid card. Yeah. Um, because you know it doesn't like stop it from being played, but then your opponent has to commit so much into just just playing it. You know, yeah. absolute release ball. There's something uh, that's from Mashud's side deck, but that's also something. It looks like Mashud's also siding Koit. Interesting. Oh, he has a fun sideboard. If you saw he that. does. I saw. Demigra. Demigra. Um, <laughs> I forget the name of that. One energy blue negate, but all it does is negate the attack for one. This card's if this card's effect cannot be negated. So something that's obviously unlikely not, protector. Unlikely protector, yeah. Dude. It's it's um <laughs> I'm guessing that's for like red, yellow, sin. Uh, the Demigra is also for something like red sin because it kills ignoring barrier. That's super spicy. I mean, it totally yeah. makes sense against sin because the sin is all about getting that one big eight drop triple strike in. And yep. they, they're going to try to Almighty Resistance to get that swing through. Exactly. There we go. Unlikely Protector. Oh, that was close. Bounces an undrop, a one drop as well. A switch up. Oh, it switches a blue. Okay. If your opponent has any tokens in play. <laughs> that's a weird one. <laughs> oh, yeah. But the point is they can't negate it with some yeah. type of counter, counter like a cooler or something. That permanent line is the important part. Yes, exactly. The other one, I, I guess if they block or negate it, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. I can't believe I remembered that card name. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure every color has one, and they all do roughly the same thing. But the the point of all of them is this card's effect can't be negated. Yeah. But they don't provide enough for everyone to, like, main deck a lot of them. Exactly, yeah. counter counters are very limited still. Exactly. All right, so once again, uh, we're going to see Brandon go first. Um we talked about this last game where when's the last time someone voluntarily went second? You know what I mean? Like it just doesn't doesn't seem like that would ever be a correct play anymore. Yeah. Maybe I, maybe somewhere down the line. Actually with the time rules, if yep. you're able if you start game three in time, yep. it's actually better to go second. Okay. That's the only time. Great point. Great yep. point. You are correct. You get the last turn and you get to decide how the game ends. Yeah. Get that last damage in when exactly, you check yeah. life. So players mulligan in here. So what cards do we see? I uh, think Gamma brought in. Uh, he just I, brought I in Coit. It. Coit. Yeah. I think it's yeah. a kind of a weird card to bring in. It, if your opponent plays anything, they have to just get rid of their entire hand. <laughs> like I mean, it's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Um, yeah, I, I guess the Gohan deck does a rival. Yeah. Or activate battle a lot of cards. We saw the Immortal Rivalry come yeah. in. Definitely one of the choices, but his deck's so solid already. already. Yeah. Like, once yeah. he gets to turn three, uh, that's about it. Right, yeah. The Gohan just had literally no answer to any any other floodgates, and it, it just stopped him in his tracks perfectly. We're looking at this yeah, uh, I don't, similar start here. I don't like this attack. I don't think you attack here, but mm -hmm. it just it gives it gives the Gohan the gas. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. he's, able, he's able to, like, step on the gas here because he has his E energy. Ooh, interesting. He's still playing Sensu Bean. Yeah. And we saw it last game too, but when you're going trying to be aggressive, Sensu Bean's not good anymore at all. It, it's a dead yep. card essentially. Yep. And that's probably why he's playing the Dead Heat, the PyCon versus Goku, in order to like discard a dead Sensu Bean in his hand. I, I like that. I do like this immediate go down to four. I, I, I actually do like this play. 
So last time we saw Beers Destroys, he has Beers Destroys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh. And which one are we hitting? Yep. Yeah, it's it's because he, he just can't get out of it. But like you said, if he if he targets the Vegeta and then just combos another 5k... That's totally... I think that turns out to be worth it. Just yeah. getting rid of the Vegeta. Yeah. The Z, uh, right. Z battle card one. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, <laughs> Tot Witch Vegeta. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to warp her, warp her card. Oh, uh, we see the heroic might. He wasn't able yeah. to play that last turn, but last turn a game, but it was really a really yeah. strong bomb. And that's, I mean, that's deck. generally how the Gohan deck is closing out the game. Is yep. you need, it's a nice big attacker. Um, that's generally how you're gonna end up closing out the deck. Yeah, or the SDR. Or the SDR, yeah, of course. Can't can't forget about that guy. Morals be gone. All right, now we here. have the Goku Black. I really, I love this card. Um, yeah. So when you have three energy, Z energy, it yep. just cost one. And then uh, it draws a card and bottom decks a four drop. If your opponent doesn't have a four drop, it's still a double strike attacker. <laughs> yep. For one. Oh yeah, but uh, well, you have to have three energy. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, stream oh, judge he draws a card too, and he puts yeah. a card back. Stream there. judge stepping in there. You have to have three Z energy to play that card. I mean, you have to. Excuse me. You have to have three mono blue energy. <laughs> and then the other to play it, you also have to have three Z energy. Very specific. You got to be wearing specific. special colored socks too. Yes, right. The color of the socks matters. <laughs> correct. Prefer preferably Dragon Ball socks. Absolutely. <laughs> Man, that was a wicked fast game one. Yeah, that, that was super fast. Unlike uh, yeah. the last round. Unlike the last round, yeah. <laughs> we definitely expect a lot of games in the tournament to go yeah. at a time. But and both players are playing real. Yeah, really here we fast. go. We're gonna slam the unison. So he slammed on two this time. Yeah. Yeah, Gohan's not playing uh, Black Smoke Dragon. Like, <laughs> he's just, you're, you're not playing Black Smoke and Gohan, so you're probably fine to play it. I think I've seen Liz play it, but it's not yeah. like a auto include at all, right? Yeah. I'll be honest. a lot of energy. Yeah. I'll be honest. I would not expect it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, yep. It, look, it looks like he drew the Ravenger off of the swing, so that's why he didn't do it first. You know, awakening with on two with gamma is something I try to avoid because you end up losing a card draw in yep. the process. Um, if you if you stay unawakened going into turn three, then um, you get an additional card draw off of your leader. And yeah, one card is a lot. I don't know. Some you know, some people they they would say one isn't a lot. One is a lot. Well, in Gamma specifically, it's not a not like many of the other leaders in the format where it draws pluses multiple times. Yeah. Right? Of course, there's efficiency through the energy yeah. that makes up for it, but that one card could definitely make a difference with Gamma. Yeah, the Gamma hand size definitely shrinks. Yep. Okay, we're going to swing leader. This is going to auto-trigger the 17-18 unison. And we're going to play this, and we're going to, yep. Instantly counterplay it. If your leader is an android and um, you control a unison, it costs one. Bottom deck of four or less instead of it being played. Super strong card. So I think he tucked away the heroic might when the Vegeta Z battle card swung. Right? You can send a card to the warp. And yeah. It comes you, back to your yep, hand. Yep. You get it back at the end of the opponent's turn. Yep. All right. Yep. Just comboing. Uh, the reason he's comboing the blocker is because you tap one and then you play this Vegeta and it can then bottom deck one of your opponent's battle cards or a card in their hand. So he just got rid of the 18 blocker. Gamma's is doing a great job at yeah. defending. It, it's such a difficult, it's so difficult to do damage to Gamma. Yes. He's also playing Mafuba. That's an interesting tech choice. The, against Sin? It's tough. I mean, look at his hand, though. He's really... He's gassing out. Yeah, he's got... I think he has to super combo to throw away some of these more dead cards. I mean... Yeah. So he could reload. I mean, yeah. Since you've been, uh, you know, before the ban list would have been crazy here, but, you know... Absolutely. I think he has to super combo away like the Mafuba and, and yeah, he says nothing. I mean, what else is he doing this turn? <laughs> and here we go. Same thing last game, right? This is what we saw. Gamma is now charging to three and he's like still at five life. And we can very easily now just see um, 
we we can very easily just see him stall his opponent out here. Yeah. So an interesting card we ha we haven't seen the Gohan player play is uh, Piccolo the Infiltrator. Yeah. Really strong card and would would put on great pressure because it gets around uh, Android 18 and Beerus destroys, which Absolutely. is the key cards that are just stopping the Gohan. Absolutely correct. Putting yeah. aggression. He does play them. He just unfortunately hasn't drawn any. Yeah. Yeah, it's an extremely efficient attacker. We saw it, you know, last game just put in a lot of work. Yeah, we're going to see the Coit. Yeah. What are your thoughts on doing this turn rather than waiting? I just don't. I mean, I would like to see the amount of pressure that he's able to put on this turn before I really, like... Yeah. I guess say anything. He might just go straight into the Twins. No, nope. you know, looks like he's going to the wait, crit. Yeah. 18. So, All right, yep, put that Floodgate, shuffle him back, and now he's going to add that Floodgate back to hand. His opponent has no answer to it, and it's basically just going to stop his turn dead in the tracks. Yep, swing 15k crit. He's going to have to combo a card. Uh, just super combo. 25k. Uh, he doesn't draw a card because he's at 5 life. Daymagic and Kai, okay. And when you charge a blue card into your Z energy, you untap one. Yep. All right. We're going to see the Neg 4 on the Unison. This becomes a 25k dual attacker now. It's pretty safe to do here um, because you're just going to floodgate your opponent and, like, you know. <laughs> and then D-Magic the second attack. <laughs> and, again, we're seeing here, because he's not going into the combo, he can't activate battle. Yep. You know, it might have been oh. smart to not D Magic the second attack just to get in. You get two additional cards to hand, try to make something happen. You know. Yep. You, you're here. You're drawing to two, and then you basically just automatically lose to the fourteen. You know. It might have been smart to go down to two, activate battle, draw a card. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> this is tough, man. God, this is like clockwork. This is tough. <laughs> floodgate, floodgate, floodgate. Floodgate, floodgate, Gamma's floodgate. Yeah. Play Gamma is super efficient at finding multiple copies. Yep. You could definitely expect them to get three. Gamma, it hates the rain. <laughs> <laughs> I have activate battle, drawing one card. Uh, Lafuba, D Magic Bean. <laughs> I mean, that's a good bit of defense, but it just, I don't think it matters. You, you, again, here you have the option. Do you just play Beerus, Area Annihilator, and pass? Keeping a. a you can also play Cell here. I mean. Yeah, this Android 14 Inorganic Core, just a great floodgate. Uh, back when Regita Resolve Renewed was still running around like crazy, it, it was a little bit less good. Yep. But now there's just... I mean, there's still honestly, there's still a lot of decent answers, but the best answer to it is gone. Yeah, it was such an efficient answer. Ex exactly. Yeah. Now we're using extra cards. That's less yep. efficient. That's, that's not Z Energy. Exactly. And a lot of the extra cards only work, like uh, Beerus Ball. Four less life. Uh, yeah. Begrudging Allies. It's only four less life. So there's an early, early game. They're not even really able to do it. Yeah. Begrudging Allies is cost one, cost four two, less. You're right, it costs yeah. two, four more, which yeah. is still usable. That's a lot of energy. Exactly, yeah. Looks like he's... I, lo I love seeing this, the, the Z deck. Is there anything I can do? <laughs> I love it, yeah. <laughs> can I do anything People about look, this? There has, to, there has to be a card in there. There has to be. It's like, I, these cards are so good. Oh, no. Oh, uh, and yeah, and he chooses it's the one without 18. deflect. I think I think Cell would have been the correct one there, right? I mean. Yeah, a, I think, yeah. I, think I, I would have liked Cell here. Yeah. Just minimize the board. Cell guarantees, combo, like, guarantees attackers off of your opponent's board, you know. Maybe the his only thought is, did he have any combo cards? I saw Bean D Magic. It's Bean D Magic, and then um, test uh, freezes army. I think so. Maybe he was he didn't have a card to combo to untap his energy. Yeah. To, to for his leader effect. Yeah. That's thought, but this is looking quite grim for our hero. Looking. Pun intended. Yep. For our superhero. <laughs> I'm just gonna send you Bean. I mean, he's forced to... Oh, it's Mafuba. That's right. Not not Chills Army. Yep. Mafuba. Which is kind of uh, worse here. Yep. And he comboed a lot into that crit. 
Yep. 30k the cell. cell comes up. Yep. Yep. My fool bunny My popped fuba. a class card. Yep. So we see it coming in doing there some work we go. here, but he does get the reload after this. And he still yeah. hasn't, hasn't used the leader combo to untap. Right. I mean, Gamma just passes, right? You don't, yeah. <laughs> you don't get to reload. We're just going to pass. And again, here, are we just going to see a floodgate? One card, he draws it in the gate. I, don't, I think he plays way too many extra cards, I'll be honest. Yeah. It seems like they're preventing him from doing anything. Yeah. Stopping his aggression. Yeah. Like, if that was a pickle infiltrator, he'd yeah. start being able to do some damage here. Exactly, yeah. It might be a little too little too late, but still. Yeah. <laughs> you know, another card we see here is the UI on the on the Gamma side, the uh, yep. Son Goku's UI Kamehameha. People are doing everything they can to not take double strike crit on turn two. It's, yeah. it's, or triple strike. Or triple strike. Yeah, they're doing their best to get out of those attacks. Yep. I, I think it's it's really the name of the game right now. It's not like back in the day where you fit, yeah. spam 15Ks yeah. and try to dwindle your opponent's hand. That's not going to work. Your yeah. hands are so large now. Uh, so you want to get those like good hits in yep. with decent sized combo. See, there's the decisive strike. That would have been pretty good against the 14 if the Beerus had lived, you know? Yeah. Mm. But yeah, you can't. You like Gamma, you can't play non deflect four lessons, right? You can't just walk into the 18s. Exactly, yeah. You got to play deflect battle cards, unfortunately, yep. like Infiltrate. You have to, I agree. Or five or higher. Yeah. Tab in three. Now we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit the cell here. Yep. Yep. Kind of swing. He's a bottom deck too. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's really just a too little, too late. I mean, yeah. Th these floodgates are just eating him alive, and with no answers, it, he's just not drawing enough cards to like do anything about it, you know? Yeah. Oh, play 17. Oh! oh. There you go. <laughs> Goodbye, baby hatch. That's going to have to be shuffled back. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's always a, a fun sight, you know? Yeah. It's but like, oh, not... at least I know it's not in your hand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at least it's not some other decks that, like, have a hard time picking it up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to tap another blue. Oh, never mind. <laughs> We're just going to wait a second. There you go. Play 18. Leader effect. Look at the top five. We're going to put an Android in there. Another counter play. It doesn't end. It does not end. <laughs> He's going to get another floodgate. The happens. Android. Never ending energy. <laughs> yep. Token negate. Play token. Shout out to our judge staff. The official token. Yeah, I mean, going down it's to one, one life. it's kind of just anything really does it here, right? Playing cell, cell. to take. It doesn't really. I mean, it it it, it removes the cell. Doesn't it stop the blocker? Yeah, it does not take the blocker. Nope, that stays. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and again, cell does have deflect, which means he can't decisive strike it. Yeah. I think Decisive Strike is a really strong card. He really just didn't draw Absolutely, it in time. Yep. Definitely need yeah. to draw early. Maybe Mulligan for it, yep. even. In yep. this matchup, especially. Mm. Yeah, I mean, this is just going to be it. He, I think he's just he's playing way too many extra cards, honestly. All right, we're seeing a sign of life. <laughs> yeah. He can put this... Uh, Immortal Rivalry and the Z Energy. Oh, no, the tro dual attack coming yep. in now. 25k is just huge. Yep. It's not over. He can draw a card with the Immortal. Ah, oh, he actually, I don't think he can draw it because that's not a blue card. Yeah, he has like, specifically combo a blue card. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll look into that. Yep. No, it's it in card. 
Yeah, any card. Okay. Any card. Okay. Works. Any cool. card. Nice. I said, there's signs of life. We're getting there slowly. <laughs> okay, there we go. D magic. Can't combo the Can't. Goku and Vegeta. Yeah. Yeah, there we go, man. Yeah, they, like you said, man, that those floodgates just ate him alive. Yep. Uh, and not and walking into eighteen, it was it, it was, was everything. Tough. Yeah. Yeah. He was fighting uphill battle. All right. You know, so far, um, a lot of blue. Yep. But there's just there's a ton of blue in the room. Yeah, there really is. A yeah. Variety. Man. All right. We. All right, <laughs> we're really we really saw the power of Gamma in that matchup. Um, yeah. The defense was just a little bit too much for that Goku deck to get through, and it seems like he just really didn't have an answer to the floodgate there. Yeah, he um, didn't draw it. <laughs> exactly. Um, he didn't draw his more efficient that's threats. How, that's how it goes sometimes, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah, the like he comboed with the the Piccolo like that was the last card. So it's like you just. You don't always, you don't see that for two games in a row. That's a little tough. I mean, yeah, it is tough. For sure. Yeah.